Hi everybody, hope you're well. Let's talk four highlights of the Christmas challenge. So I have the challenge itself, the inspiration, the supplies, and the sewing. I joined a Christmas challenge and the whole premise was the two ladies on Instagram, one is uh, Sewing Fashion by Steph and the other one is Funk Mat. They created a challenge or they challenged themselves and decided to share it online and ask if people wanted to join. And it was, the deadline was December 18th at eight and um, it had to be in the category of lingerie. So I thought it would be a good challenge to partake in so my inspiration <laughs> let me just show you what it is okay so this is what i made i'm going to pop in a picture so you guys can actually see it in all its glory so my inspiration was the lauren um, bodysuit by madeline intimates the reason why i chose this pattern is because i tried to made it make it in the past it was a complete fail and so I decided to do it, uh, try it, give it one more try. And I am not disappointed. I kind of flexed on this one. <laughs> the supplies. I have, of course, the Lauren pattern. I had some uh, Lurex, Lurex is how it's called. Uh, fabric that is fabric that is uh, stretch but has a metallic um, sew or metallic hopefully you can see it a little metallic treading in it so that makes it a little more luxurious I opted for <laughs> we still don't know what color it is but this lace right here which is a dark blue well on the website it is black slash dark blue on this when you put it on a black surface it looks dark blue however when depending on the light it could look black too <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know we have some metallic or at least some elastic that has some metallic treaded in it i used a waistband elastic I used the charm that I got off from my first package of the advent calendar and I used a bodysuit closure right here. I also used some and I also used a jersey knit or jersey lining. I did not line my bodysuit. I or all the way I did line the lace which is in front here I shot some videos of me sewing so that's what you're going to see right now so what you are looking at here are the different pieces the different elements of the Lauren bodysuit I'm making this for the Christmas challenge and so you'll have this is the front panel, but this is only the side and the middle piece that was usually going to be over the front piece. I'm not adding the front piece, so it's going to be a little revealing. And I have the lace right there. I have it pinned down. This is the back with the v-neck right there these are the sides that will go over the hip and this is the panty which is the front and with the lace overlay right here i have it pinned down because i didn't sew it just yet with the back and then the only thing that i already did off camera was to sew the gusset and that is just encasing the seam so the inside and then the outside of the gusset i didn't sew the side shut because i need to 
so the lace overlay but essentially it will come like this this will be connected to the middle part so the lace will just run from the top the lace will run from the top all the way in the side seam and over the seams of the front i'm going to add this elastic with the silver um, to give it a little more of a Christmassy vibe. I think I have enough to do over the front of the cup, or at least, yeah, over the front of the bodysuit, as well as across the waist. I think it, it gives it an extra oomph. And then right in the middle, I want to add one of the charms of the first advent package. So I'm going to do most of the sewing offline, maybe a little bit of behind the scenes, but that is the idea. We're at the machine and I, this is a elasticated thread. So it's a black elasticated thread by Midler. I have it on my bobbin as well. And what I just did was, I sewed a straight stitch on number three on my Mesh Brother machine at one fourth of an inch or a quarter of an inch. Straight stitch down because it's elasticated. I didn't have to use the zigzag stitch. I'm going to iron it on a low setting, setting and um, so that it may lay flat. And I'm going to do the same for the other side. I did the same here. So now I'm taking it to my ironing machine. Oh, by the way, before I do that, I need to change my thread. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but I need to change my thread to the polyester and do a zigzag stitch along the um, pico elastic making sure that the straight side is on the scallop side on the lower part of the scallop side and the scallop side of the pico elastic is on the inside few steps further with my Christmas lingerie. Um, I'm still working on the bodysuit. What I did right now is I skipped a few steps to be honest because uh, I wasn't feeling that great but I think I stayed at putting the pico elastic in the back V and I attached the front so the front uh, the front front and the side front because remember I wanted a little bit more exposure in the middle I attached the sides to the back and the sides lace are also attached and what I did right now with my wonder clips I attached the bodice to the panty I'm not really sure if it's still going to fit um, but I have to get this part done in order to check to do the fit check this thing that I have to mention and this is part of the sewing so mitts no i had it finished i had it finished but i forgot something that happened to me the last time so the last time when i made the lauren it was not only uh, non-stretch but it was also very short so this part of me which is my torso is a little bit longer so i definitely need to add two to three centimeter i think i needed to add five five or four cent four centimeters in total so two on the bodice part of the of the bodysuit and two on the panty part i didn't remember that but to be honest i couldn't really um fit in the first one so that's why i let's say i forgot or i didn't make a mental note and so what I needed to do is once I had it finished and I had it on, 
it was really, really tight and it was pulling weirdly. So what I did was I unpicked the top part from the panty and then I added the waistband elastic right in the middle to give me that extra length that I needed. And I decided to put the silver um, elastic right around the center just to give it a little extra oomph. And that really made it comfortable. So that saved my project, which made me very happy. Um, I followed the sewing instruction and also the um, just the written instruction but oh I am in love as always I enjoy making this video I hope you enjoy watching don't be afraid to come down below if you have any questions or just want to say hey and you have a great great day bye